friends. So I hope the lighting is not so bad in here. I waited till so late to um, do this video because it's Thursdays and Thursdays are my busy nights with my kids. So put everybody to bed and I wanted to get this video up. So this video is going to be for all of my new friends that are just starting out couponing. So um, I've been getting like so many messages uh, regarding like what do I do, how do you start out, and things like that. So um, one person today commented on one of my videos if I had uh, everything written down as far as, you know, the steps of this. And I have been thinking about creating a blog because everybody doesn't have Facebook and I understand that. But... For the most part, everybody has access to the internet. So I decided to create a blog. And by doing that, I am going to upload to my blog and to my Facebook because I'm able to do that um, at the same time. So it's not any extra trouble for me. And anything that I can help uh, any to do to help anybody that's uh, wanting to start out, I want to help because... Like, I, I got a message about someone that was, like, wanting to uh, do the best that she could because, you know, she didn't have a lot of money and she wanted to start couponing because she really needed to save a lot. So, a lot of people don't realize how much you can save. You know, for me, couponing, I don't save a lot of money on actual groceries, but I do save so much on my household items that puts more money um that I have to use on groceries or more money that I can save. Um, what a lot of people do is, me personally, look at your receipts when you start couponing. And however much you save, like I went to Target today and I saved $32.88. Now for me, I struggle, hold on. I just have to have Pepsi. But I haven't been drinking a lot of Pepsi today, but I have one right there, so I needed it. Okay, back to this. I It's hard for me to always keep cash because my kids are always getting cash from me. So what a lot of people do is they take how much they save with their coupons. And they put that money into like a little piggy bank or something that they have in their house or maybe even open up a separate account and they start at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year a lot of people use that money for Christmas shopping they'll see how much they save just from using coupons and they take all of that money and they use it towards Christmas presents and you'd be really 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 surprised and amazed at how much you save throughout the year just by couponing so what I did, let me pull this up on my iPad. I created a blog today. And on this blog, because someone asked me on another video uh, that I posted on YouTube if I had everything written down. And I really thought about it and I was like, you know, I really don't. I don't write the steps down. I try to just do everything in the video. But I know some people like to see things. I'm really old fashioned. Like I like to write everything down. I don't really keep appointments in my phone. I have to write everything down in a planner because I just like to see it black and white. Okay, I did this, cross it off. So I totally understand for people that want to um, see things. So this is the blog spot. And the blog, it's called Couponing with Tony dot blog spot dot com now if you are on my youtube which obviously are because you're probably watching this video um if you go to the about section they'll have a link for a blog and i i don't i can't show you right now uh maybe i can give me one second let's see if i can pull it up because i want to make this as easy as possible for you guys channel about okay so here we go so 
My iPad is different from my phone, so therefore there is a uh, about section on the tab on my YouTube channel. And then right down here, you'll see where it says blogger. And if you were to click on that, or I'm sorry, it doesn't say blogger, it says blog spot. And if you click on that, it automatically takes you to that. And you can just scroll right over here and read everything that I've been posting or uploading. So one thing that I did today was, are you a newbie? First steps to couponing. And I really won't go over everything that I've written down. Um, I'm just going to kind of tell you some steps. So everything written down. And I did eight little steps today just to start out. So this is going to be what I'm saying all summed up my eight steps. But if you want to see it on um, written down so you can look at it, it's going to be on the blog spot. So first thing you got to do is you have to buy the paper. In my area where I live, uh, I buy the paper on Sundays. Inside the paper comes all of your sales ad and everything. And what you'll find in the paper are inserts. These are inserts. And inside the inserts are going to be all of your manufactured coupons. That is your very first step. You have to buy the newspaper. And coupons come on as in Sunday papers. And the next step I would suggest is get all of the ads for me um i know some people in california they have rite aid and i think rite aid is the same as cvs and then I, for the most part i think a lot of states have walgreens and target i know targets are you know in a lot of places but i have so many people on facebook that live in all a lot of states so i really don't know all the stores that they have I'm originally from Florida, so I know a lot of stores in Florida. In, po in Florida, big stores, Publix and Winn-Dixie. And in Texas, I don't have those stores here. So we're at least here where I live. So get your paper. That is going to be the first step. I always say buy at least two papers so you can have multiple sets of coupons because there was a deal on something if you buy three I'm going to do another video so this video isn't until so long. I try to keep them like at 10 minutes. Um, I know nobody wants to watch a 30 minute video. You know, be sitting there with like popcorn. One moment. I need my chapstick too. Give me one second. One second. My purse is right here. Okay, I'm back. Like, oh my god, I'm meeting my chapstick. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, so back to my newbie couponers. Okay, so once you get your paper, the next thing you want to do is you do not have to have a binder. Is a binder more convenient? Yes, but do you have to start out with a binder? No, you can start off with a small accordion file. Let me show you what that is. Here we go. So you can start off with something like this. You get these from the dollar store. And you just separate your coupons in here. Because dependent, you may not want to uh, shop for everything that I shop for. So you don't need a binder with all of this stuff in there. And the next thing that you would do is they sell these baseball card holders at like Target and Walmart and things like that. So what most of us couponers do is we have these and we just keep everything separated like this. We cut all of the coupons and we just keep them in here. So that way when we go to the store, we're just 
flipping through, boom, I'm getting angel soft. And I have a lot of angel soft coupons, so I have them paper clipped together. That way, it's easier for me to take it out. If I don't have a lot of a certain coupon, I don't paper clip. But for these, I have a lot. So I'm waiting on a deal on those. So that is another thing. So another thing that I always like to do before I go to the store, paper clips everywhere. I swear. I have like thousands of them. Another thing that I like to do when I am getting ready to go to the store, and I say this because you can get very, very overwhelmed when you go to coupon. So you could get in the store and you're just lost. I always say Go through the ads like your or watch one of my videos and you're like, oh, well, I want to go do that. Write down everything that you're going to get. Um, what video did I do? Yes, mouthwash. I did mouthwash yesterday and there was $2 off coupons. I'm just going to give you an example because I think there's one in here. Okay, here we go. Perfect. So yesterday I posted a video about CVS and let's just say you're going to go to CVS and you had several of these. I would say write down, okay, CVS, two mouthwashes, um, two toothbrushes and two toothpastes and then put next to it two coupons so you know that that's what you're going to need when you go to the store. So when you put it in there, you have a list and you also have your binder and you just know to pull out that those particular items. Now, sometimes it doesn't work like that because you get to the store and they don't have that. So it works out a little different. But if you're lucky and let me tell you, you will be lucky a lot of times and you walk in and they have everything stocked. It just makes it so much easier than going in there and looking and you don't know what you're going to get. And then you're sitting there and you're going through your binder and then you're just like, this is overwhelming. It can be so overwhelming and you're just frustrated. But hey, I'm here to help. So if you have a question and you need more help, just write your comments down there and you know I'll answer. I'm really good about answering everything. I try to answer as soon as I get the alert. And let me just look on my little notes that I put oh coupon policy so target some stores will let you get away with using more than four coupons and when I say more than four more than four light coupons so say for instance you had there's a sale right now at Target for these and they are buy three get a five dollar gift card well you got four Sorry, five, six. Well, and you got a coupon for each one of these. So, they're only going to let you do four at a time. And deal's not going to work on the next transaction because you just paid for four. So, if it's any deal that is buy three, just do a separate transaction. That's what I would suggest. Or take a friend with you and have that person ring up your next transaction behind you. And that way you're only using three of the same coupon. Now, if you have, make it easy, you're buying these pens and you have a coupon for each one of these. That means you can do four of these and use four. So make sure you know the coupon policy. But I... Most of the time, at Target, you can only use four light coupons. Sometimes at the grocery stores or Walmart or CVS, they, they're really not really strict on that policy. Me, personally, I never buy... I'm, I'm not a shelf clear. I don't go out and buy 10 or 20 um, deodorants at a time. I, I just don't do that. Normally... There wouldn't be that many in stock if it was a really good deal on it, but I don't I don't buy that many. I may buy like four or five or an even number, you know, six or eight, but I won't go over that because I don't like to I don't like to do that much transactions in the store because I don't like glitches. I don't want to 
have an issue and one of my coupons doesn't scan or something. So me personally, I rather go to the store 10 times and then two t 10 transactions, 10 different days, then I have so much stuff at once. And it's just easier for me. But hey, you do what you like and what you are comfortable with. And your store policies may be different and they might may not have a problem with you doing that. So I would say check your coupon policies on the stores. Just type in um, walmart.com and do in the search engine um, coupon policy. Same thing, Target, wherever you live, do that for your stores. But I would say those are the basic tips when starting out. Um, I'm pretty sure I wrote down a little bit more, but like I said, I don't want to keep this video going too long. Oh, hell, we're already at 15 minutes. Sorry. Probably because I had to get my chapstick. Because when you're talking like this for so long, then your mouth gets dry. But, okay, so to cut this video short, that's what I'm going to say for my newbies. And I'm so sorry that this video went so long. I try not to go that long on a video. But I'm going to cut this short. If you have any more questions, you know what to do. Just comment. And I will answer all y'all's questions. And I'm going to do another quick video. It won't be 15 minutes, 16 minutes. Um, on my little Target shopping trip that was so pleasant and so good. So I will talk to y'all later. And thank you so much for watching my videos and subscribing and commenting. I am so excited about doing all of this and helping you guys. So I will talk to you later. Bye.